World Interfaith Harmony Week was observed during the first week of February here at the UN Geneva. It's indeed a welcomed opportunity to use the words to be here in the temple of uh, knowledge and talk about how to best uh, um, work together for uh, uh, coexistence, tolerance, and, uh, making the world a better place. The motto of the event this year, a dialogue on faith, peace building and development. Interreligious cooperation is very important in the humanitarian field and we need to increase it and work on that. And I hope that uh, the World Humanitarian Summit will also uh, discuss this. At the UN Library, two panels discuss the role of faith in peace building and social and economic development. The speakers representing member states, faith-based organizations and UN entities provided an insight on the Muslim and Christian perspectives in these two important areas. I think if you go to communities that are less well provided for, you'll find them much more aware of how important it is to be generous to one another and to look out for your neighbor. I think it's something that the so-called wealthy societies, including elites in developing countries, have lost. In their interfaith statement, the United Nations underlines that all peoples of the world are bound together by their common humanity and their common planet Earth, and by love of God or good and love of one's neighbor. Before the, con the contradictory development of a growing public role of religion and a growing discrimination and persecution of people of faith, a question arises, is it intolerant religions or intolerance of religion. I have collaborated a lot and launched common campaigns with the Holy See, for example. We mutually enrich each other. We try to express and deliver a message of fraternity among all humans. It is the role of religion to encourage and fostering dialogue. According to Archbishop Tomasi, the will of most Christians, Jews, Muslims and other religions to dialogue and efforts for peace is a sign of hope, a sign of the presence of the Kingdom of God. And I believe that many who had declared uh, God dead some 40 years ago as a, as a religion made a huge mistake in the sense that they did not calculate, understand the profound sense of faith in, 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 in the lives of individuals and societies.